here with owners from our teams tonight. Of course, Eugene Jackson, I'm going to hang out with him and his side because he's bigger. I'm going to go over on this, yeah. on this side, buddy. How do you like but that? But these are our team owners tonight, Denver Vipers, Teen Overs. And, of course, we've got our San Jose owners right here, right? That's right. Fantastic. Smash all day. The smash all day long because uh, smash apparently going to beat the Denver Denver we got, Vipers, we got a big bite. I don't know. That's why we we're separating. That's how we're separating these two right now, I guess. <laughs> guys, if I could, I want to start with the Denver Viper questions, guys. You guys had five people move on to this next round. You guys had, I just want to read this off so I don't mess up. Anthony Harvey, Nick Lancaster, Courtney King. There, there's a couple more. I mean, that's just to name a few. Why, uh, for my first question, did did um, Anthony Harvey move on when he lost his first fight? That was my first question and kind of boggled my mind. Uh, to our recall, it was uh, his opponent got hurt before the fight. Oh, just a simple injury. Yep, and so he was actually the guy who fought him the last time, so they gotcha. gave him the opportunity to come back. Okay, good. And with all these fighters that you have moving on to this level, I know it's hard to pick, but which fight are you most excited to see? No all one's going to care if you, all do, of if you them. choose. All of them? Yep. We've got a broom and a dustpan. We want well, a clean house. I, I know for the fans, for us <laughs> fans, I mean, it's all of them that I would like I would like to see him too. I don't know if anyone's stuck out in particular that, that, that has a, um, a personal struggle that they're going through that you want to, like, pick out that... All of them works too I, because I really I'm like Justin to Gonzalez's story. He's a really good kid. Right. Um, like I said, they're all really good characters. Got personalities that flame up. So. Right. I right. like them all. I don't man. know. I don't know. Sounds How scared to me, Eugene. Well, let's talk about Fresno here. I know you guys. Uh, you got a lot of great fighters. You actually had a team this in the Jose, tournament, Jose. or San Jose. I'm sorry. You guys had a team <laughs> in the tournament last year. Or a few fighters in the tournament last year. You guys have a little bit more experience than some of the other teams that are out there. And of course, you being a professional fighter for as long as you did. Why don't you predict a sweep or something for me tonight? Oh, a sweep? That, that's, that's hands down. We took the most to um, England next that's year. I mean, right. last year, and we got to go into Brazil strong this year. Okay. Our team is solid all the way around. What fighters do you have your eyes on the most, do you think? I mean, it's, it, I don't think it's the eyes that I have on. I mean, when I have fighters that are showing up to events and everybody's backing out, when we're willing to give up 10 to 15 pounds in weight and everybody's still backing out in every city you go to, I don't know, I got to call it how it is. We got a bunch of cowards in the sport and we got a bunch of fighters and I got fighters. You seem to have two fine, upstanding gentlemen standing next to you here. So who do we have right here? Okay, well, this kind of scary because this is one of the fighters that everybody's scared of. This is Ahmed, the uh, pimp white, you understand me? And then I have Jack, the double leg, because he loves breaking leg. This is one of our coaches, that, a Lucha Libre brown belt that's a monster. And uh, so I have a demon fighter that can't get a fight. So he'll be the first fighter in history that wins the championship because everybody's going to back down. And I got a coach that says if everybody backs down, the coach will step in to whoop their ass for him. Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Good luck tonight, of course. Good luck to their opponents over for the Denver Vipers.